Live, Trance, and Prosper. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian David Phillips, and welcome to Trance Time. This week's Trance Time is a special one. Some of you know this uh, particular process because I've run it a hundred thousand million zillion times. A whole lot in live courses, workshops, and others. Uh, it's also on my website in an audio form. But today we're doing the garbage camps. So let's go ahead and run this process, okay? Sit comfortably and breathe in. Breathe out. Close your eyes and relax. Breathing in. Breathing out and relax. Deep, deeper, deeply relax. That's right. Just relax. Tell yourself that each and every breath out, you relax more and more. Deep, deeper, deeply relax. That's right. Breathing in, breathing out, and relax. I'd like to imagine in front of you is a garbage can. And I'd like you to imagine you could take all your stress and all your worry and all your headaches, just put all that stress and worry inside that garbage can. There's plenty of room, just cram it all in there. When you've got all that stress and all that worry inside that garbage can, go ahead and put the lid on. Now what I'd like you to imagine on the sides of that garbage can there are strings and rope going to a large purple balloon. And imagine that balloon begins to lift that can away. Breathing in and the garbage can begins to lift higher and higher. Breathing out, you just relax even deeper. Breathing in, the balloon lifting higher and higher. Breathing out, your body relaxing more. And as you just sit and breathe in and out, just imagine you can watch that garbage can just float away. Farther, 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 getting smaller and smaller in the sky as it gets farther and farther away. That's right. And just imagine that can just gets so small, it's just a little dot down and gone. That's right. Breathing in, breathing out, and relax. It's time now to come back to the here and now. In a moment I'll count from one to three at the number three. Your eyes open, you're fully alert, your head is clear, feeling, oh, that's nice. One, coming back to the here and now. Two, Stretching and three, eyes open, feeling, oh, that's nice. How you feel? You feel good? I hope that has been helpful to you. Practice the garbage can twice a day. It's a real simple thing. You don't even need to listen to this uh, video. You can just run it yourself. After you've listened a few times, you know the process. Just do it yourself. Breathe in, breathe out the whole thing. Let me give you a little background on the garbage can visualization process. Uh, the process itself has been part of a pilot study that was once conducted with the Canadian Department of Health. Uh, Marie Murdoch in one of her books describes that process and essentially they took kids in hospice and they ran them through the garbage can visualization or a variation of it. There are a number of variations. Maureen Garth had her own variation. Mark Cunningham does one. A lot of folks do. Instead of doing balloons and garbage cans, they might do bottles in the ocean and things like that. Or throwing your troubles into the universe. But uh, essentially this idea of bottling your, or taking your stress and putting them in a container and floating them away, uh, this is what they had the kids doing twice a day. You get up in the morning, you do the process. Go to bed at night, you do the process. What they found in this pilot study was that the kids at hospice 
who ran this sort of process, and it only takes five or six minutes or even less, uh, those who ran it, they had less fear and anxiety in their life and therefore needed less pain medication and they had a longer lifespan. Okay, what's really interesting, they also had a higher rate of spontaneous remission. That is when the cancer that was bothering them was gone. Now here's the thing, I don't care what sort of stress you have in your life, it's very unlikely that you have more stress than a child who's been told that they're dying of a debilitating or, or wasting disease. And if this sort of thing can help them, it can certainly help you with your stress from life, work, school, studies, and relationships. It's not a cure for your troubles, but uh, when you run a process like this and you set your troubles aside, your worries aside, you are better equipped to creatively deal with those problems. Hope this has been helpful. Be sure to like the video and comment. Ask questions if you like about this process or other aspects of experiential trance. On Wednesdays, we have hypno news and rants. On Tuesdays, I present tips and tricks and answer your questions. And of course, on Thursdays, that's a special day. That's trance time. Until next time, subscribe and bye-bye. This is Dr. Brian David Phillips saying, Live trance and prosper. Okay.